<laughs> Hello, everybody. What is up? It is Great One Ghost here coming at you with another video with my face. I know it's well for you guys, it hasn't been a while. Uh, it's been a while for me to record a video with my face, but you guys just saw me, so. <laughs> so, welcome back to Kindergarten. Yay! And it's December, so it's Christmas. Nice little backdrop, don't you think? I hope so. Did it all for you guys, so. <clears throat> so it's gonna be an interesting month. Uh, without further ado, let's just get into this, shall we? <clears throat> uh oh, I got my mom and dad yelling at each other. Typical morning <laughs> when my dad has the week off. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Alright, so last time that I played, we did Nuggets whole thing, so let's see what other ones we have to do. Let's see, hints. Alright, so... What can I do next? Alright, you need to special item from the teacher before you complete Bugs' mission. Okay, uh... You need a special item from Jerome and as much money as you can carry to complete Monty's mission. Yeah, I would need twenty dollars. So, which means I don't think I can do Monty until after I do Bugs, and I can't do Lily until after I finish Monty and Bugs. So, I guess the next one would have to be the teacher. Start the day by getting robbed by Bugs and tattling on him. Okay, and then by the rec video voice recorder after getting sent to the office with Cindy by asking her if she loves the love is enough. How does Cindy get sent to the office? How does Cindy get sent to the office? I don't know. Okay, I'll figure that out. Uh, get rid of Jerome during morning time by giving him a yo-yo and then giving the teacher his hall pass. Okay, I've done that. Nugget Nugget after Jerome has been suspended. <coughs> okay. Bugs, Monty, and Lily should be eliminated during lunch. The Bugs will be eliminated before lunch. Monty will be eliminated. I'm not gonna get off here in trouble. I'm 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 gonna get off here in Lily would probably be very interested in what it says. Okay. <clears throat> well, we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna bring a lot of money with me. Okay. And I think we are ready. We'll see what happens if I give the letter to Lily. Oh, um, hey, I'm Lily. I probably heard about my brother. What is that? What is that? It looks like Billy's handwriting. Where did you get this? What do you know? Nugget gave it to me. I knew Nugget was holding out on me. Do you know what it says? I can't read as well as my other could. Well then, you have to find someone who can. Hurry. For you, but it's gonna cost you a buck. Deal? Okay. okay. Let's see here. Jeez, this handwriting is atrocious. It says something about a hatch in the principal's office that can be opened with the code written below. That's where the handwriting gets especially terrible. 
This is gonna take me a while, a while to decipher. I'll try to have it figured out by to you by lunch. Okay. Well, what did it say? Something about an opening a secret hatch in the principal's office. A secret hatch? That's probably where he's keeping Billy! We've gotta get in there! We have to save him! Only... What? I need a way to get in there without the principal knowing. I've got a plan, but it requires getting a phone and a key to the principal's office. I don't know. I know the teacher has one, but I'm not sure how to get it off of her. That's something more up Bugs' alley. Either way, the note is a great start. Thanks a bunch. Screw off, kid. I'm busy. What can I do with y'all for? Here's what I got for sale. What can I do with y'all for? <laughs> Alright, I don't think there's anything really to do with Okay, children, it's time to start the day. Everyone head inside for morning time. Oh, was I supposed to tell Lily about... Monty? Thought I had. Why the hell do you think I want to be your good point? Alright. Let's restart the day, because apparently I was supposed to tell her about Monty. And I hadn't. <laughs> so. Alright, hold on a second. I got a Snapchat from my friend. Let's see what it says. <laughs> okay, so let's try this again. Bring it to school. Dollar. Yes. Alright. Go to Lily. Give her the note. <laughs> favorite birds is cardinal. So I tried to take a picture of it, but it flew off. Damn. Oh well. Special items to complete Jerome, Cindy, or the teacher's missions. Okay. <coughs> Bugs will take half of your money if you bring three dollars to school. The lunch lady lets you out of the cafeteria if you give her Monty's glasses or plain glass or two dollars. To the restroom without cigarettes during lunch, someone will take you to the principal's office. 
And if you run out of time at the general's closure, you will fear and will kill you. Okay. So I don't need any. Do you want... We're gonna have to do the teacher because I can't be Cindy without. I mean, you know, Lily's without certain things. So, so we'll see if we can do eliminate bugs. Sneeze, I mean. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. So my question is, how am I supposed to get Cindy to the <coughs> principal? I gotta keep restarting the rooms because I'm getting ugh, messed up. <laughs> I gotta get the voice recorder before I can get Monty out. I mean, before I get Bugs out of here.
That's how you do it. <laughs> Hmm. I smell money. <laughs> yeah, someone is definitely carrying one of three dolls around here. Hey, kid! Carrying any cash? Yes. Excellent. Give me half, or I will split your empty skull with my foot. Good boy. Now don't go telling me about this, or you might turn out missing like that. Hey there, Shani. I'm. Well, that actually sounds more like a janitor. Oh, I'm Monty. If you need something, come talk to me. Oh, door. I can get it for you for the right price. What do you. What I need and what I sell changes throughout the day. So come see me often. I want to buy something. Here's what I got for sale. It's a pretty cool gadget. It can help. It can keep you out of trouble if someone ever accuses you of something you didn't do. It's two fifty. What you say? Pleasure doing business with you. Excuse me? 
I knew you did not just say that to me. Because if you did, I would have to have you take it out. I like to see you try. Fine! You asked for it! What are you gonna do? Reep! Oh dearie me. What on earth is going on over here? I heard someone call rape! Yes, Miss Applegate, it was me. This boy tried to rape me. <sighs> Cindy, we've been over this. Boys not wanting to be your boyfriend does not count as rape. But as per the school policy, I have to send you both to the principal. <laughs> what? You're punishing me for almost being right? Now, you listen to me, little parasite. You are going to the principal's office. End of story. This is so unfair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell it to the principal. I'm sorry, folks, but you leave me no choice but to. Oh, what now? What are you two doing here? He tried to rape me. Brains. Well then, Bugs, it looks like you get off easy this time. Get out of here, you little dumpster fryer. I'll be seeing you at recess, pal. Okay, you two, let's get this over. So, you're accusing your little friend here of trying to rape you. Really, Cindy? Yes, sir. I could barely fight him off. I'm going to assume you are tell going to deny that you raped her. Is that correct? Yes. That's what I thought. Well, since no one witnessed the incident, and you don't have any proof, there's not much I can do except separate you two for a while. I recorded the incident. You did? Well, that makes this a hell of a lot easier. Cindy, do I even have to listen to this, or will you make it easy on yourself and just admit nothing happened? But, but, he, what? Okay, fine. But he started it. He said I was mean. Not good enough. I think I'm going to enjoy not having you in my school for a while, Cindy. I'm going to keep this recorder in case there's any trouble when the, your awful mother calls. Okay, I'm back. No. Now, why don't you run mom back to class now? I think you've missed enough learning for today. Oh, you're back! Where's Cindy? What's her punishment? No, no, I have proof I didn't do it. So that means she's gone. Oh, happy, happy day! I was so sick of hearing all of her nonsense. You could have, would have earned a, you would have earned a gold star. Whatever. Well, our little ruse got, didn't get rid of bugs, so, like I hoped. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to handle that later. Ah oh, yes, the high and mighty Jerome, always talking back to me because his dad is my boss. I think it's time we finally get even with him. The principal has informed me that one of his paw passes has gone missing. I bet Nugget's life that Jerome took them. I can do that. Excellent! Just go over there and get him to give it back. Oops. Um, okay. I gotta do... Some apples up. <clears throat> Here's what I got for sale. Huh. Pleasure doing business with you. Dude, you know you're not, you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty is gonna hook me up with a sweet yo yo. I mean, this yo yo? Oh come on! He told me he was gonna save it for me. I can have it be my morning buddy. Ha <laughs> ha! Thanks, chump. I guess we haven't learned how to tell time yet. Morning time is pretty much over. Oh damn! All right. Well, I guess I'll end the episode here. Even though it is just 
I started figuring out how to do the teacher. And I failed. <laughs> Amy's a failure. Sad face. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button down below, even though nothing really happened. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Green Wind is out of here. Bye-bye.